Welcome to Disney's Animal Kingdom. Today, it's absolutely gorgeous out. I'm here wandering around the park, just enjoying everything that there is to offer. And I thought that I would take a second and talk to you about something that comes up all the time. It's a question. Is Animal Kingdom a half day or full day park? Now, this is a really great question to ask, especially when you're planning your Disney vacation because you know, these are the things you need to know. How much time are you going to need to set aside for Animal Kingdom? And so I wanna give you my personal answer, which I know is not gonna line up with everyone's thought process on this, but still it's mine and so I'm gonna share it. Animal Kingdom, as well as any of the four theme parks, can either be a half day or full day park. Even Magic Kingdom, yes, I know there is so much to do there, but in reality, it really just depends on how you plan your day, what your priorities are, and how you pace your day. And if we're being completely fair here, it makes sense to say that you can whittle parks down to only being half day, but how do you make a park a full day park if you think it's only a half day park, like Animal Kingdom? I mean, isn't there only so much that this park has to offer? At least that's what people who are locked into the idea of Animal Kingdom being a half day park have to say. But I'm of the opinion that there's a lot more here in Animal Kingdom than most people realize. So having just finished my lunch, I say we do a lap of the park and talk about it. So let's go. One of our first stops today is Dinoland USA. Now look, I know some people have some strong feelings about this area, but there are definitely things to do here. There are currently two attractions. There are meet and greets here. You can meet Donald, Daisy, Chip, and Dale. There's also some dining available in there and they do have the carnival games. I know they're not for everyone, those carnival games specifically because you do have to pay extra for those, but they are there and you can win a really cute souvenir. There's a shop back here too, which I think is worth checking out. There's some other photo opportunities and lots of little details to soak up. So make sure you're taking some time and enjoying this part of the park especially because it might not be here forever. There's been a little scuttlebutt about it. I don't know anything for sure, but it's worth checking out before it's gone. There's also the Boneyard, which is a playground. Don't forget about that, because that's a great place to let your kids burn off some energy and spend some time. If we make our way out of Dino Land and toward Asia, we have Theater in the Wild. This is where you'll find the Finding Nemo stage show, which is super cute. It's a great place to go escape the heat if you're here in the summertime, but it's also just a really great show. I definitely recommend it. And then right across the way, we have this big open area. And I know what you're thinking, there's nothing going on there right now. And you wouldn't be wrong. There used to be some shows that happened here. The most recent was Kite Tales that has been discontinued, but you should still consider taking some time to wander down here and hang out for a bit because you can see characters on their flotillas moving through here. And it's also a great place to just hang out for a little bit, enjoy a snack, get off your feet and take in just how beautiful this park is. I mean, look at this view. It's just gorgeous. Anyway, I'm gonna sit here, have a quick snack and see who comes by. Good afternoon, adventurers. We are the Discovery Island Drummers. Welcome to the world's most magical celebration. Jam along with us. Another corner of Animal Kingdom that people don't realize exists is the conservation station over at Rafiki's Planet Watch. You get there by getting on a train. You get to see a little bit of the backstage area where the animals are housed and cared for. And honestly, there's a lot of fun stuff over there. There's a petting zoo, there's an animation experience. We've done all this stuff before and we will do it again, but not today. We've made our way through Asia and into Africa. Of course, we made a stop over by the train near Rafiki's Planet Watch, but we can't not talk about Festival of the Lion King. This is another show. It's a great show. It is indoors so you can escape the heat. It's got familiar music to sing along to. There are Disney characters that your kids will love. Your kids can participate during some portions of the show. So it's a really great opportunity to get out of the sun and also have a lot of fun. <laughs> We're crossing under the bridge now, headed to Pandora, but there's a few more things I want to tell you about. There are a lot of great walking trails here in this park as well. People definitely just skip, and I think it's worth taking the time to stop, slow down, and enjoy them, because there's a lot to see. One of them, the Gorilla Falls Trail, is over by 
the train that we were just checking out a few minutes ago. It's a great option to just wander through before you get on the train. And the other is over by Kali River Rapids. Now those walking trails are pretty awesome, but they're not the only ones around. There are plenty of walking trails here in Pandora World with Avatar, which is where we're hanging out right now. Admittedly, these aren't quite the same. You're not gonna see the same amount of animals and they're not really structured in the same way, but you can definitely just wander through, hang out, sit down for a little bit and explore this crazy alien planet. So we've talked about a little bit of everything today. Talked very briefly about attractions, if at all. But I mean, chances are you already know about those. We talked about shows, some of the walking trails, but there is so much more at Animal Kingdom, even beyond just that. There are exhibits all over the place. Of course, there's activities like the Wilderness Explorers. It's free. And then there's everything that pops up throughout the day. There are live entertainers. There's musicians. Kevin walks around. And again, this is really just scratching the surface of this park. Honestly, I got here about an hour after it opened today. And even though I just casually wandered around with you for a little bit, it's already three o'clock. Imagine if we had gone on different attractions, done the safari, drew a picture over at the conservation station in the animation experience, and we could easily be here until park close. But I wanna know what you think. Have you ever been to Animal Kingdom? Do you think it's a half day park or a full day park? Tell me about it in the comments down below. Of course, we also appreciate if you hit that subscribe button. It lets us know that you like what we were doing here today and we'll see you next time. Bye.